Hello, WA family. This is Mr. Chapman coming to you from my digital workplace here in my kitchen. I hope everybody's doing well, and I just want to share uh, a word with you. Um, I hate being locked up. I mean, I really, really, really don't like being locked up. Um, but I guess, in a sense, we're not really locked up. We're more like in a bubble. I feel like I'm wearing one of those glass domes. I, I'm allowed to go in a certain radius and, and all that, but I have limited freedoms, and, and I don't like that. Um, but, you know, it's important right now to practice social distancing and, and make good choices. I mean, I, I could not make good choices and not do that, um, but there's consequences to that. And, and, and that reminds me of my walk with the Lord. When we were born, we're not Christians. And so obviously the best choice that I ever made in, in my life was to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. But there was a lot of times in my life where I did make great choices. And it's only through God's grace and His mercy that He continues to guide me and draw me closer to Him. Well, I mean, I teach fifth grade, and that's a unique group of individuals. And they're amazing. Their, their hearts are open. Um, they're not really tainted too much by the things of this world. Um, but when I speak to them, I feel like it's so important as I've learned about them and where they're at in their personal relationship with God is that they're saved by faith and not by works because they still feel like they need to be doing things and they need to be doing great works because they want to honor God and they love God. But that took some time for them to really understand that. And so we are saved by faith and we're saved by God's grace. And thank you, Lord, it has nothing to do with us, right? Because we wouldn't work, we would, it wouldn't work out well. Um, so it's really important that they understand by faith because it says in Hebrews eleven six, it says without faith, it's impossible to please God. Now, okay, we're going through the book of John right now as we do our like daily devotions. And, and I, I love that book like so, so much. I mean, just the way Jesus handles uh, people in, in that book. The woman at the well, the, the Samaritan woman, and we know that story. Um, but during their conversation, uh, they, Jesus talks about living water and she says, give me that living water so I don't have to keep coming back to this well. I just don't want to do this anymore because she's so frustrated with things in her life. And, and she's thinking physically and Jesus is talking spiritually. Um, Jesus clears the temple in the book of John and, and they come up to him and say, by whose authority do you have to do this? Uh, and Jesus says, tear down this temple and I will rebuild it in three days. And they're like, what? It took us 46 years to build this temple. What are you talking about? You're crazy. And he's talking spiritually and we're thinking physically. Um, we do have a physical body and we treat our body well. And hopefully you're not gaining that Corona 19 as they say. Um, we eat three meals a day, hopefully not four with snacks on top of that. But the thing is, is that we need to be taking care of our body. If we don't feed our body, we get hangry, we make poor choices sometimes, um, and, and so we need to be taking care of our body and feeding, feeding our body, but we also need to be feeding our spiritual body too. And, and so the more time you spend with God, the closer you feel to Him. But the truth is opposite too. The opposite is true also. The less time you spend with God, the further you feel from Him. And often we'll come running to him when things get bad. And so what you want to do is in your walk with God and your relationship with him, you want to keep close by him. And so to do that, I think you know that, but it's just always good to have a reminder. Uh, we need to be spending each day in, in prayer. Uh, quiet time. Uh, some people do a journal. My, I know my wife does that. Um, but we need to be even asking the Holy Spirit to like fill us each and every day. Um, in our uh, Bible study that we're doing digitally, um, this one lady, she says every day she, uh, as she fills up her coffee, she prays to, for the Spirit to fill her up. Like the, the coffee, the physical part of the coffee reminds her to do it spiritually too. And I, I love that. And I, I just that kind of did something for my own heart. Um, but then we need to be reading God's Word, whether it's in a devotion. There's so many options available to us today. Uh, because of the uh, you know uh, internet and because of online, um, you can listen to it, you can read it. You, there's things you can research, 
And when you do that, God's word is like bread for us. It's bread for us spiritually. And so to, to make good choices, to not be so wishy-washy uh, in our daily life, we need to be guided by God's spirit. Well, that's just as important 10 years ago as it will be 10 years from now. Uh, whether we're in a pandemic or not, and this soon will pass, you know, uh, in, in God's will, God's timing. But during those times, I encourage you guys to maybe take this opportunity to consider about your personal uh, growth spiritually. Are you feeding your spirit? Are you growing spiritually? And uh, I hope that you are. So let us pray. Uh, dear God, Lord, I do thank you, Lord, that sometimes you just ask us to be still and, and to trust you. And Lord, that's all we can do right now is just to trust you. We, we can freak out. And I know, Lord, that a lot of circumstances are really challenging for many people. Um, and the church needs to be, come beside those people and either help them physically, spiritually, socially, whatever we can do. We need to be the, the, the feet of Christ, Lord. And you allow us that opportunity, and we thank you for that. But right now, Lord, even in our own families, Lord, allow us to be the best of us, Lord, not the worst of us. Allow us to be taking this opportunity to improve in different ways, uh, physically, spiritually, socially, and Lord, just to give you glory. And Lord, we pray for your spirit to fill us, to guide us, to direct us each and every day, Lord. And um, what, a, what, a, what a blessing, what an opportunity, what a journey. And we thank you for our salvation. We thank you for your son. And we just thank you for your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, guys. You guys be well. Take care.